Hello everyone. It's another moment with me again. Last week we began an exposure in logarithm with regard to the properties and the laws associated to that. Today we are going to try a lot of examples with the properties and the laws we discussed about the other time. So get your materials closer to you and most importantly your logarithm book and your calculators as we begin everything together. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. everyone, my name is Maji Abiasi and I'm a gold tracker studying science. Before enrolling as seekers, I was so terrible with my elective, that is physics, chemistry, biology and e-math. But now I can proudly say I'm one of the best students in my school. Contrary to what I've experienced outside, the teachers here are very interactive and easy to approach. Whenever I have a problem, they always have a down-to-earth solution to those problems. We also have regular online lessons which benefits we the students and worthy of disclosing. At Seekers Remedial College, the teacher's explanation is pretty clear to everyone, even the lay person. I enjoy every bit of the lectures I have here. Dr. Isaac is just a genius. I am currently in a basic school and I recommend my school to every child wanting to finish school early. The teaching style here is so different as compared to that of my previous school. Literally, I must say that the teachers really teach from their heart. Lectures are always conversational and refreshingly thrilling. Our notes too are in a slide form with a diagrammatic representation and we are assessed with monthly mocks which keeps we the students active all time. Honestly, I really like the teachers in Seekers Remedial College. Hostel facilities are available at a cost. For more inquiries, call or WhatsApp the numbers displayed on your screen. Welcome back. So, if you check on my other board, we have some examples uh, listed over there. So I'm going to try them with you, one after the other. Uh, then if you have some time, we'll discuss the question associated to logarithm and the use of the logarithm book. So, get your, uh, your pen and your parchment ready and let's start. So, uh, if you look on the other board, you can see uh, simplify that we have about 10 persons in that. So that's what we're going to do. So let's look at the first example. So, the first person is simplify log 2, adding up to log that's 6, subtracting log of what? 4. How are we going to do that? So that's what I'm going to discuss with you. Okay, so if you remember very well, last week we discussed about the laws associated to logarithm. And the first one is we are adding the logarithm of what? Uh, 2 to the logarithm of 6 minus the logarithm of 4. The first thing you have to consider is are they all in the same base? Yes, it is. Last week we saw that Law can be written in any quantity base with the exception of one. And um, that means that we can have the logarithm of what? To, uh, lo the logarithm of a number, let's say 2, to the base of 10. And I also said further that the logarithm to the base of 10, we decide to write or not. So if I, have, if I write log without the base, it means we are actually discussing log of this 10. So that's what we do today. So you can see all these are in uh, base 10. I know it. What's the answer to this? So watch closely. Now, because the bases are the same, 10, 10, and they are adding law 1. I said pick one law. Now, write the common base they are sharing. It's 10. I said we choose not to write that. Now, product to them. So you're going to have 2 by what? 6. I did. All right. So minus log of what? 4. The next thing. You write the logarithm as usual. Now, 6, 2 is what? That's 12, right? So minus the log of what? 4. Now, what's the next thing to do? Now, we're going to have the log of what? 12. Because the base are the same and they are subtracting, you pick one log, then you divide. That will be 12 out of 4. What is the answer, please? So, we're going to have the logarithm of what? So, uh, for, for 12 divided by 4 is what? If you work that on your calculator, you're going to get uh, that's 3. Alright, so log 2 plus log 6 minus log 4, the answer is what? Log 3 is 10. This cannot be reduced further, so this is the final answer. Okay, so let's try the second example. So you have 2 log what? 3 
you have what? Log 2. How are we going to do that? So, if you remember last week's lecture, okay, um, we were discussing Log 3. I you me? Log 3 says that uh, when you have the logarithm, okay, of a certain number having an exponent, I follow the discussion. As a matter of fact, the base still exists. So the logarithm of a number, I follow it with, with an existing base. And the number is raised to a power. I said the simplification is just pick the power, carry it to the end of the log. So that's going to be n log, then copy the rest and paste. So n log s to the base of what? A. I follow it. So watch closely. What does that suggest? 2 log 3 implies that initially it was log what? 3 and the 2 was up there. That's when we are simplifying, you bring this one towards the other end. And that's what we're doing today. Alright, so having that done, now you continue. Class log of what? 2. Now, 3 exponent 2 is what? That is what? 9. So class log of what? 2. Either with me. Now, base are the same, it's 10, 10. I've discussed that with you earlier on. So 10, 10, what do we do? You pick one of the log, you pick the common base, they are sharing a log, big log to the base of 10, we don't write that. So what you do is that, because you are adding, you product to them as usual. So that will be 9 times 2, alright? So you're going to have the logarithm of what? 9, nine times 2 is what? That's what? 18. I put in the discussion. As a matter of fact, to the base of 10, then we are done. Now, like I said before, 18 cannot be written as multiples of 2. I put in the discussion. And so we leave it this way. So that's the final answer for number 2. So if you look on the other board, the third example, you can try that. Okay, let's pick that up together. So number three, what does the question say? This time around is half log what? 25 minus 2 log what? 3 plus 2 log what? 6. What is the answer? So, watch closely. Half log 25. So, I believe you've done it already. You write log of 25 to a power of what? Half. It's just like the previous example. Continue. Minus now, 2 log 3, uh, that one too, I believe you have done, uh, you've written that. That's going to be 3 exponent of 2. Alright, so class, that will be log what? 6 exponent of 2. What's the next thing to do? Now, you try to simplify for that. Now, let me take this one clear. Last week, I was saying that when you have a number raised to a fractional index, so let's say the power is 1 over 2. I throw it. Uh, let's say 7 exponent, uh, let's say 1 over 3. This gives you the opportunity to rewrite this in a square root form. I did. And I've been saying that the fractional in this, the base of the fraction, which is what? 2. We name the kind of uh, root you take. You know, we have square root, we have cube root, we have fourth root, we have uh, fifth root, and so on and so forth. This is what you're going to do. The base of the fraction is 2 here, right? So meaning we're going to have to take what? Square root of. So 2, I from square root. But square root, we normally don't bring the 2. I don't the discussion. So square root of what? 25. Then the power will tell you, uh, the, 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 sorry, the numerator of the fraction tells you the power of the number. So here it's going to be what? 1. Or 25 over 1 is the same as 25. Either with me. So that implies that 25 exponent half is the same as square root of 25. Either, which is 5. Likewise is 7. So the, the base of the fraction will tell you the kind of root. So that's cube root. How about cube root? The 3 must exist. So cube root of what? 7. Now the 1 will tell you the power. So power 1. But we decide not to write that. Alright? So that's going to be cube root of 7. For 7 exponent 1. 1 over, two, one over 3. Either with me. So, log of 25 exponent half is going to be the logarithm of what? 25 exponent half is what? 5. You can just call that on your calculator and it will give you what? 5. Alright, let's continue. Minus, now, uh, log 3 exponent 2 is the same as what? 9 plus 6 exponent 2 is what? 36. Do them on your calculator. Now, you're going to have log of now, the bases are the same. That's the most happy thing. Alright? So, they are subtracting. So, what are you going to do? Pair law 2. You divide. So, when they are subtracting and the bases are the same, pick one law, then divide the numbers. So, that will be 5 out of 9. Alright? Adding up to log of what? 36. 5 out of 9 cannot be simplified further. Alright? So, you're going to have log of what? 5 out of 9. Alright? Adding up to what? 36. 
But the basis are the same. So pick one law. The common base they are showing, which is 10. I'm not writing that. I've discussed that with you already. All right, so you're going to have log of what? Five out of nine. When you add them, what do you do? You to them. So nine is what? 36. I there. So you're going to have log of what? Now, use your calculator to check. Five out of nine. I don't mean five over nine. All right, times 36. What are you getting? Your calculator will give you what? 20. So that's going to be what? Log of what? 20. And as a matter of fact, log of 20 cannot be simplified what? Further. It's only going to give you what? A decimal. So you leave this as your final answer. So the answer to half log 25 minus 2 log 3 plus 2 log 6 is log 20. That is it. I believe you're getting the understanding. And um, I also uh, believe that at this point you've been able to copy what we've done from the scratch. So we're moving on to the fourth example. Example 4. Take your time to write them down. I would like to also let you know that uh, we've created a YouTube channel that will help you all to go over, play the videos repeatedly, and record certain things you were not able to record because uh, the lessons were proceeding faster. Let's move on. So, the example four. You have half of what? Log what? Uh, nine adding up to what? One. How are we going to solve this? Here, we have to manipulate. I've made a discussion. We have to do some, something we call manipulation. But I wouldn't change the question. This is what we're going to do. You know, right? 9 plus 1. You know, right? Uh, this one, that's the easiest thing we can do from what we've discussed so far. You're going to have log 9 exponent to 1 over 2. Adding up to. Now, you know what? Log 1, eh? You see, 1 is not in logarithm. Uh, so, how do you say the base are the same for you to prove that? So, we have to reconvert it to logarithm. How do you do that? I'm not going to change the question. This is what we're going to do. Remember, I told you that the logarithm of what? Uh, a number to the base of that same number is what? 1. So, here, yeah, because we are working in this, then I can write to log what? 10. Remember, the base is what? 10. Log 10 base 10 is what? 1. So, I'm not changing that. Good. Now, it allows me to now progress with my solution. This one is going to be log of what? Uh, 9 exponent half is the same as what? Square root of what? 9. What is what? 3. So that will be 3 plus what? Log of what? 10. You're going to have log of what? 3 times what? 10. I know because the base are now the same. So you're going to have log of what? 30. So simple. So when you realize that the logarithms, one possess a logarithm, the other do not. What you have to do is that you have to manipulate the other value, all right? Bringing the prevailing base, either. Yeah, the base that is prevailing is what? 10. So I have to re-express this in base 10. So I got to be one to, to facilitate the process. And that is what I did. Good, we can move on. So that's my example five. You're going to have the logarithm, sorry. You have 2 minus 2 log what? 5. Alright, how do you solve this? Now, like we did at the usual time, this one has been written in. What's the usual base we are working with? That's base 10. I know what I mean. So I have to write this in base 10. So log 2, the base 10 is there, you know, right? Uh, sorry. So I have to rewrite this in base 10, where I won't make a mistake. So look at how, how I'm going to do that. Now, you know that it's base 10 we're working with. So I can write it as log of what? 10. Because it's in base 10, log 10 to the base of 10. I know it. It's the same as what? 1. So if I bring 2 here, it's just like multiplying 2 to 1. Because log 10 to the base of 10 is what? 1. I know so it's going to be 2 times 1, which is 2. Like uh, we've done previously. So you're going to have 2 log 10, alright? I've not changed that. This one will give you 1. So minus 2 log what? 5. Wow. If you understand this, then we can say this one is similar to log what? To the base of 10 squared minus what? Log of what? 5 squared. That's going to be log of what? This one is going to give you 100 minus log of what? 25. Are you there? So the base are the same. What are you going to do? So you're going to have log of what? 100 out of what? 25 because they are subtracting the divide. What are you going to get? You're going to have log of what? If you punch 100 over 25, your calculator is going to give you 4. For the sake 
of the law 3. Either you have to re express this in an exponent form. Either, either than that, you have disobeyed the rule. Simplify. So, what are you going to do? You're going to re express this as a log of what? 2 squared. 2 squared will give you 4. For the previous examples, because I cannot express them in exponential form, that's why I left them like that. Because it cannot be simplified for that. So, this one, you're going to have. Having expressed it this way, you apply the log 3. The 2 will come in front of the log. You're going to have 2 log what? 2. And that is the final answer for the question 2 minus 2 log 5. Simple. Wow. My time is almost up and we have a lot of examples on cover. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to solve uh, a few of them like number 6. You apply number 6 to the ideology to number 7. If you understand the number 6, Apply the same ideology to number 7. Either with me. Then I'm going to solve that of number 8. Then we'll go for a commercial break. When we come back, I will solve uh, either of 11 to 13. Then we'll end it there with three equations in logarithm. Alright, let's move on. So, uh, example 6. What is that? Log of what? 9. Because of what? Log of what? 3. I have to do this because now the examiners have been setting varying questions. They appear in different ways. So I have to expose you to that. So that when you go to the examination and you meet something like that, you'll be able to apply what I taught you. So how do you solve this? So this one is going to be what? Here. Here. You have to, you see, log of 9 over log of 3. How do you do that? You have to convert 9 to exponential form. So that you have what? 3 in the midst. Then you'll be able to cancel out. So you are me that log 9 can be written as what? 3 squared. Over log 3 can be written as log 3. Is just log 3. You understand that? Now this one is going to be what? 2 log of what? 3. Over what? Log of what? 3. You understand? I'm just applying, uh, uh, applying what? The, uh, this one, I'm applying the log. Either will be good. See, log 3, log 3. They cancel out. Don't cancel. We know. Right? So you're going to have 2. As your final answer. So 2 is an answer to the question log of 9 over log of 3. The logarithm function is on your calculator. If you check on the keys, after the row where you see the on key, when you come to the second row, you're going to see this on your calculator log. I think last week I discussed about that. So that log is in base 10. It's in base 10. I said log without a base is in base 10. So you use this one is in base 10. So to call this on the calculator, you just initiate the over sign. The over sign is below the function. Check shift. Below shift, all right? Below shift, you make this function. A box over a box. Either will be like that. So press that first. So I press that. Either. Then I punch log. I've told you where log is. So punch log. Now, close the bracket. Come below. Shift your cursor. Use the replay. Uh, Alright, to shift it down. Alright, then you punch log of what? 3. You close the bracket. It gives you the final answer as 2. So what the way is that to achieve that answer? Either will be. That's fantastic. Good. Apply that same principle for number 7. Either. Alright, let's move on. Alright, what's the next thing? Now, so I'm going to solve number 8 with you. Number 9, go and try that. Number 9 is just like number 3. So I'm solving number 8 with you, alright? Then when I'm done, I'll come and solve that of um, number 10. Then go for a commercial break. When we come back, I'll try the rest with you, alright? Alright, so number 9, what is that? Sorry, number 8. That's log of what? X plus 1, alright, minus log of what? X squared minus 1. I chose this because there is something in algebra you have to apply here. We call the difference of two squares. Alright, watch closely. So here, as usual, oh, the base are the same. So you pick one log, alright? Uh -huh. Then x plus 1. I put in the discussion. x plus 1, you divide that to what? x squared minus 1. Who can tell me why? Why I'm dividing? I believe you answered that from the comfort of your home. Either because they are subtracting and the bases are the same. Fantastic. What's the next? Now, the log exists x plus 1. Either x plus 1. Good. Now, x squared minus 
one. In algebra, we call something difference of two squares. When, uh, if you have done factorization, you'll be able to understand this concept very well. When you have a term squared minus another term squared, I said a term, all right? So meaning it could be number, a number, blended with letters. I don't know the discussion. Okay, so uh, 4A, let's say B, all right, squared. <laughs> Once a number is blended with letters, we call that a term. Alright, it could be a single number to is a term. So when you have a term squared minus another term squared, alright, its factorization is pick the first term, alright, put plus between, drop the second term in one bracket, open another bracket, pick that same first term, this time around, drop minus, pick the, the other term, and that's the factorization. Either we can apply this principle with x squared minus 1. X squared minus 1, you can rewrite it as x squared minus. So I've been telling my student, whatever you see, a term squared minus. Oh, think about difference of two squares. That's what I've been saying. Think about difference of two squares. So the only question you have to ask yourself is, can I reconvert one that value to something squared? If it's possible, then you conclude that it's difference of two squares. And it's true. When I write one as one squared, I won't change that. One squared is one, and it's the same thing. All right, so wow, I can ap apply this as what? Difference of two squares, all right? So what is the factorization? So this one is going to be x minus, so pick the first term, x, drop plus in between, drop the second term, one, open another bracket, pick the first term again, this time around, drop minus, then drop the second term, you are done. So we can ex extract that in here. So x squared minus y can be written as what? x plus one, x minus 1. That's a factorization. Good. Let's move on. You're going to have log of what? So x will cancel that. x plus 1 will cancel x plus 1. You see that? So the log you're going to have, it cancels that one time. You're going to have 1 out of what? x minus what? 1. Fantastic. Good. Now you're going to have log of what? This is what? x minus 1. This can be written as what? x minus 1 is put into what? Minus 1. I discussed this with you the other time. Once it's a fraction and the, uh, the numerator is 1, you can reconvert that into exponential form. So that's what I did there. Alright? Where my minus stands for the over sign. Either way. Good. Let's move on. I want to rub that. So you're going to have, so by, uh, because the preamble is simplified, I can apply what? Log 3 here. When you have an index, you just extract that in front of that. So we're going to have minus 1 log what? x minus 1. Either. You know minus 1 is the same as well, minus log what? x minus 1. And that is the final answer. That's great. I believe you understand that. If you don't get it, just go to our YouTube channel, play repeatedly and you just get a concept. It's so easy. Or you push it in the school and the teachers here will just take their time. Together with our assistants, you get a concept. All right, so let's move on. Okay, so like I promised, I'm going to solve uh, uh, example 10, all right? We we'll go for a commercial break, then when we come back, we, we do the rest of them. Follow closely. So I skipped example seven. So you try that using the ideology game in example six. I don't the discussion. I think if you do it properly, you're going to have three as, an, uh, as your final answer. Yeah, you get three as your final answer, so you work that out. All right, so example 9 to, um, you call that in your calculator, the final answer is here, you work towards that. You can apply the uh, ideology in example 3. Good, so we're doing example 10. This is another type of question where they'll ask you to find the logarithm. Let me do that here. The logarithm of a number. I know it. Using logarithm of given numbers. I did. So they said find the logarithm of what? 0 0.4. This time around, I've been given, I've been given uh, the logarithm of numbers to utilize. How do we do that? So read the question. Given that log 2 base 10 is 0 0.3010 and log 3 base uh, 10 equals what? 0 0.4770. Find without using tables the value of log 0 0.4. Base 10. How do you solve that? So watch. You're going to have log 0 0.4 base 10. First, I have to convert this to a fractional form. When I'm done, I see 
uh, how I will manipulate the numbers to use the examiner want to see you using log 2 base 10 like the value given you want to see you using either log 2 base 10 or either log 3 base 10 that answer given or you want to see you using both the, the, the thing is you should find log 0 0.4 using the values given either of them good so let's see let's convert that first you're going to have log to the base of 10 of what last week I said when you have a decimal and you want to convert to a fraction just initiate the over sign. Whatever you see the dot, put one there. The rest of the numbers, make them zero. So, zero, all right? Then you clean the decimal point. All right. So, uh, you're going to have log to the base and about 4 out of what? 10. For 0 and 4. Now, we apply the loss of logarithm. You're going to have the log of, to the base of 10 of what? 4. I will be. Uh, minus log to the base of 10 of what? 10. I will be. Now, you're going to have... Um, log to the base of 10, I go in, of what? Now, 4 minus the logarithm of a number to the base of that same number. 10, 10, this is 1. So you write that. Good. Now, we are still looking for log of 0 0.4 to the base of 10. I know me. Now, watch closely. We have log of uh, 4. You can call that in your calculator because uh, you can actually not use either of the tables. So we have to use log 2 or log 3. I don't know the discussion. Either of them. Now you see inside the 4, I can have 2 existing. So I can write this as well. log to the base of 10 of what? 2 squared. Alright? So minus 1. Per log of logarithm, uh, you're going to have 2 log of what? 2 to the base of 10. Just send it across. Minus what? 1. 2 times. Now given that log 2 base 10, check your answer as well. So whenever you see log 2 is there, you're going to put what? 0 0.3010. Alright, minus 1. Good. Check that. 0 0.3010 times 2. I advise you not to use your calculator. Solve that manually. Okay? Good. You're going to have 2 times 0. That's 0, 2. Alright? 2 times 0, 0. 2, 3, 2, 6. Good. 2 times 0, 0. Alright? So 2 multiply 0. 3010, you're going to have 0 0.6020, all right? Minus 1. Please follow me. Good. Now you're going to have 0. Solve that manually. Don't use your calculator. Your calculator will give you errors. So uh, you're going to have what? Minus what? 1.1. 0, 0, 0, 0, all right? Good. What are you having? So 0, all right? 2 minus 0, 2. 0, 6, point. Oh, 0 minus 1, and that. Minus 1. This is how we write that. In log, alright? Let me write before I explain it. You're going to have minus 1.1. 6, 0, 2, 0. You are surprised by how the minus is existing. And that's why I told you that logarithm is a different language on its own, alright? This is how it shows. You know, you would have done it this way. Um, minus 1.1, uh, 6, 0, 2, 0. But in that language, we, we assume that when you bring the minus here, the minus affect all of them. That is not fair. Either from the subtraction, what happened? You saw that the minus was to one alone. I don't know the discussion. And so the minus must you must bear your own burden. I don't mean. So that's how we have to do that. Minus 1.6020. Don't worry, we're gonna do more of this. Either that's what I'm saying. I'm going to teach the log table. We're gonna do more of this. So just pick this one this way, go to do that. Alright, fantastic. So we are done with the tenth example. We're going for a commercial break. When we come back, this is what we're going to do. We're going to solve uh, one of the listed examples there. We start with equations and logarithm. When we don't have much time, we, 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 we discuss about the log table that we have uh, we, 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 we close that for today. Alright, so we're going for a commercial break. We're going to be right back. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, my name is Maji Abiasi and I'm a gold tracker studying science. Before enrolling at Seekers, I was so terrible with my elective, that is physics, chemistry, biology and e-math. But now I can proudly say I'm one of the best students in my school. Contrary to what I've experienced outside, the teachers here are very interactive and easy to approach. Whenever I have a problem, they always have a down-to-earth solution to those problems. We also have regular online lessons 
which benefits we the students and worthy of disclosing. At Seekers Remedial College, the teacher's explanation is pretty clear to everyone, even the lay person. I enjoy every bit of the lectures I have here. Dr. Isaac is just a genius. I am currently in a basic school and I recommend my school to every child wanting to finish school early. The teaching style here is so different as compared to that of my previous school. Literally, I must say that the teachers really teach from their heart. Lectures are always conversational and refreshingly thrilling. Our notes too are in a slide form with a diagrammatic representation and we are assessed with monthly mocks which keeps we the students active all time. Honestly, I really like the teachers in Seekers Remedial College. Hostel facilities are available at a cost. For more inquiries, call or WhatsApp the numbers displayed on your screen. so that we see how we work things out. Good. Now, I'm solving number 11 with you, then I move on. Good. Okay, so we're working number 11 out. All right, let's see. So number 11, we've been asked to solve for logarithm of what? 35. Using, because we've been given log 2, you can see the value there. We've been given log 5, you can see the value there. Log 7, 2. So the question we have to ask ourselves is, uh, what do I do to 35? To have 3, you know, to have 2, 5 or 7, either of them in the image. Either of you. So, there's a, sorry, there's a strategy I want you all to employ. Ask yourself, what number should I multiply? What are the numbers when I multiply? I'll get 35. Where you meet 2 and the 5 or the 7 in the image. Either. Or what are the numbers when you divide? You get 35. Okay, I want to ask myself. Uh, well, uh, I want to find out what number when I divide by, you know, 5, I will be, I'm going to get 35. Let's see. Let's see, 175 divided by, if I do that on my calculator, wow, it gave me 5, alright? It gave me 35. So, meaning that the logarithm of 10, uh, to the base of 10 for 35 is what? Um, that is 175, I did, divided by 5. See, you see, I was given log 5 base 10 there, so I can see the 5 here. Once I put 75, will be a problem. Don't worry, we'll find a solution to that. Alright, so we're going to have log of what? To the base of what? 10. For what? 175 minus log what? To the base of 10 of what? 5. Log 5 is there, we can substitute. Just hold on. Alright, let's work the 175 out. I know, I, I did before we move on. Alright, 175. Yes, we can ask ourselves, what are the numbers when we multiply, multiply either? We'll get, uh, what do we call it, uh, 175. Either we, uh, yeah, yeah, so let's see, uh, yes, 10 times what? Let's see, should we use 10? No, um, let's see, 175. Let's see, 35 times 5. Good, 35 times 5 is what? 175. So I can just do 35 times what? 5, either we, and that's for 175, all right? So log 10 of 5. I did. This one can be rewritten as what? Well. Log of to the base of 10. For what? 35. I did mean times what? No. What is times you add? Alright. So log to the base of 10. For what? 5. Minus log to the base of 10. For what? 5. Are we moving together? 35. So listen. You can't put 35 on the calculator down. So 35. What numbers when you product or divide? You're going to get 35. Let's see. What number is that? Let's see. 35. What are the two numbers when we put that? You're going to get 35. Let's see. 7 times 5. 35. So 7 will work out. Alright, so we're going to have log of what? To the base of 10 of what? 7 times what? 5. Plus log to the base of 10 of what? 5. Minus log to the base of 10 of what? 5. You can see that. Base, log 5 base 10. Log 5 base 10. They are subtracting so it's 0. So we're going to have log to the base of 10. Of what? 7, alright, because it's multiplying out. So plus log to the base of 10 of what? 5. All this 10 is giving you 0, so don't work at 9. Good, log 7 was given in the question, right? That's 0.8451. I did. 
class 1. Log 5 base 10 was given as 1, 0 0.1. 6990. How do you do that? So let's add them on one. How 0.1? 8451. 0.1. 0. Add. You're going to have one. 9 plus this is going to give you a 14. Remember one, right? So this one is going to give you a 9 plus 5. You're going to have um, that's 14. You compare that from your calculator. Sorry, 13. No, 9 plus 5, that's 14. Sorry. Remember one. So 8 plus 1 is what? 9. 9 added to 6. What are you going to get? 15, right? 5. Remember what? 1. I did. Dot. 0 plus 0 is what? 0. So plus 1 is what? 1. I don't mean. So you're going to have that as what? 1 point what? 5, 4, 4, 1. 1. So that is the answer to the logarithm of what? 35. When you put that on your calculator, you're going to get the same answer. I don't mean. Let's move on. Now, my time is up. So you work out. Uh, the I I the I I I I point the discussion. What are the rest? Then you send it to me uh, via comment on our YouTube page. All right, or you can text them to me so that I correct you. You know. Let's move on. We discussing the use of the log table. We will not keep long. We will just give an introduction. All right. Next week when we meet, we will do more of that. Let's do that. Logarithm table. Logarithm what table. Okay, now you pay attention. Logarithm table, pay attention. Now, the logarithm table only helps you to find the logarithm of numbers. We have a lot of log, uh, uh, log bases, I don't mean. The other time we were, were like, uh, you can have log of what? All positive bases with the exception of what? One, I don't mean. That is for what? Uh, that. Now, the log table only works out with what? Base 10, I don't mean. And so, uh, to be able to work out all proceedings in logarithm, we first have to know how to find the logarithm of numbers. So let's start that. I believe you have your log table with you. I have my log book here. You can take any textbook closer to you, mathematics textbook. Check behind. If you check behind, you see logarithm of numbers. Look for logarithm of numbers. Either with me. And that's what we're going to use. Your calculator should be closer to you too. We're going to apply them all. All right. Now let's see. Now watch closely. We can have, I can ask you to find, watch closely. Let's start with the problem. Let's say I ask you to find the logarithm of what? 67.29. Number two. I ask you to find the logarithm of what? 0 0.000876. I don't have more time, so we'll just try a few examples. So next week when we meet, we'll do more. The logarithm of 1046. Let me add one more. Number four. The logarithm of 0.00375. What is the answer for this? We are learning how to use the log book, alright? This is a different language, so we have to be smart. Good. Now, the answer you are going to get there eh, is, is going to be something point something. I don't mean like something, 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 like the most important thing is something comes before a point, alright? Then another thing also comes. I, I don't mean. Now, what comes before the decimal point? Before that characteristics? You see, the other is going to be something like this. So, so and so point, something, right? So, here yeah, the characteristics was 67. All the time, what comes after the decimal point is uh, before the decimal point. It's called characteristics. I did. Then, what comes up after the decimal point is called mantiza. Mantiza. I don't mean. It's called what? Mantiza. So here, what comes after the decimal point? 29. So 29 is a Mantiza. The Mantiza here is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.000876. Mantiza here, alright, uh, this one, you know, is actually point to a 0, 0. So the Mantiza here is what? 0, 0. I don't mean. Alright. So the characteristics is what comes before the decimal point. The Mantiza is what comes after the decimal point. Smart. Now, the log book will only give you answers, I mean the mantis will give you values after the decimal point. You have to look for your own characteristics. I don't mean. So log of this, how do you solve that? Look, follow closely. Now, watch. You first of all have to convert the existing number to a standard form. 67.29. You have to convert to a standard form. I don't mean. How do you convert a number to a standard form? 
like to convert a number to a standard form, uh, the number should be should be in the form a times 10 exponent m, like something times a multiple of 10. I don't mean. Now, mind you, that a there, the a should be in between this ring, should be between 1 to 9. So it should be 1, comma, 2, 3, 4, 5. It should be between 1 to 9. Take note about that. So you have to learn how to convert numbers to standard form. I don't know. How do we do that? Look at me. Alright. I said that A should be between what? 1 to 9. A should be in the range 1 to 9. Alright, watch closely. So see, 67.29. You have to convert to a standard form. How do you do that? So you have to uh, push the decimal point here, right there. Because that's the only way my, my first digit, like what comes before the decimal point will be between will be in between this range. Alright? So 67, I have to push the decimal point here. So it's gonna be what? 6.729. Good. Alright. So times 10 exponent. You moved how many times? Once. If you move towards the left, alright, your power is positive. You move one time. So times 10 exponent what? One. If you moved towards the right, alright, your power should be negative. I don't mean. So I move towards the left, alright? So my power will be positive. I did. So this is in a standard form. See, what comes before the decimal point? Six. You see that number is in between one to nine. It's six. I did. So it's great. It's in a standard form. Good. So the other two logs, this is 7.29 is after converting to standard form, I don't mean. The answer, the characteristics will become the power of the standard form. I don't mean the power of the term. So the other is one point case close. I don't mean. Then the next thing is we go and look up 67.29 uh, from the log book. I'll show you how to do that. But before that, let's get the standard form, the, the standard form clearer. I don't mean good. So let's try that for this one before we check the answer that. So you have log of what? The other one was 0 0.000876. You have to convert this to standard form. In standard form, the number that comes before the decimal point must be, to, must be in between 1 to 9. How do you do that? See, if, if you move the decimal, to, the decimal point towards the side, there's no number there. So you have to pull the decimal point. Come, come. You, you have to be here. So that you have 8.76. At least the number coming before the decimal point is in between 1 to 9. 8 is in the ring. 1 to 9 means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right there, 9 is inclusive. Alright, so it's in the standard form, right? So times 10 power. How many times did I move? 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 times. Oh, towards the right. I said towards the right is negative. Towards the left is positive. Alright, so times 10 is going to work. Negative what? So one, two, three, four. So negative what? Four. So the answer for log 0 0.000876 is what? Negative four. I told you how to write negative. It should be this way. Negative four. You will not carry your burden. Point what? All right. So the log will help us find the answers to the rest. <laughs> I don't mean. Fantastic. How about this one? So this one too is what? 1046. I don't mean. You have to convert it to standard form. All the time, you move the decimal point from the back. So here, I have to move the decimal point this way because the number is huge. I did. If you don't understand, 1046 in decimal point is actually 0.00. That's why you move the decimal point from the back. Standard form, the number that, that is coming before the decimal point must be in between this range. So you have to push it. Alright? One, two, three. Now you are obeying that. So it's going to be one point zero four six. All right. Times ten power towards the left is what positive. So how many times you move? One, two, three. So negative what? Three. Sorry, positive. So three times. One, two, three. All right. So the answer to this is what? Three points power. I don't mean. Last one. If you are smart, you get to know that uh, this one is going to be what? 3.75 times 10 power 1, 2, 3. So negative 3 because you're moving towards the right. So that's going to be what? Negative 3. Alright, now let's find the uh, the, the What comes after the decimal point? Then we call the lesson to a closure.
Go, take your long book. Now the long book, forget about the decimal point. Just look at the numbers as such. So the long book, the, this is how it goes. You have the first column. If you have that, I want to bring that. You have numbers, uh, you see on top of one of the box X, X, run it down. You see numbers there, that's where we read from. I don't read. Now, what the first um, the first two they get 67. All the time, when you are searching from the logbook, you search for first two numbers. 67. Where will you locate 67? If you look, if you are using any logbook, the first page, alright, you know locate 67 in the X side. Go to the second side. I did. 67. Yes, I've located 67. Place your hand there. Good. You're a good student. Follow it. Now, what's the next number? Two. I did. So where you landed on, that's 67. Channel your hand across. I don't mean across. So this way, 67. Move through. I did. Continue. Until you reach, look on top. On top of that, you see numbers written there. 0, 1, 2. So channel your hand through to column 2. I don't mean. So 67. If you roll down, all right, uh, I think if you roll 1, 2, 3. So move 3 times. First box, second box, third box. All right. You are looking for column here too. All right. So third box. You look upwards. You see two there. I there. What is the value there? Write it down. I can see 8274. Don't take off your hand. Channel it across. Now go to the difference column. What you see the numbers uh, single, single, like that, standing out on your own. So 67. Run it across the difference column. The same 67. What is the last number? 9. Read from column here, 9. I did. So if you run it across and the column head 9, I can see 6 there. Alright? 6. So add 6 to this number. What's the answer? You're going to have, here is going to be what? 10. 7 plus 1, 8. 2. 8. Alright? So the answer to log 67.29 is 1.8280. Alright? Let's quickly do that for number 2. So, first look for the first two numbers. The first two numbers is what? 87. What is 87? Look for the, the, the column uh, from the column X. Look for 87. You see it on the second page. I've seen 87. Run it across. Go to column head 6. Column head 6. Run it across. Alright, column head 6. I can see 9425. Powerful. 9425. My student, the number is finished. So that's my final answer. The number is finished. If there was another number, that's when you go to the difference column. Trace that, then come another. So that would be what? 9, 4, 2, 5. That's the final answer. I will be powerful. So let's do that for uh, number 3. You do number 4 yourself. Number 3. So you're going to have uh, log 1046. So first of all, look for the first two digits. 10. 10 will be on your first log sheet. So look under the X column, look for 10. I've seen 10. Run it across to column head 4. Under column head 4, you see 0170. Write it down. 0170. Run it across to 6. Run it across to where? Uh, uh, where is that? Alright. Uh, okay. Alright, 6, 6, 6. Okay, good. Alright, that I see 25. You add 25 to that. You're gonna have 5. Nine one zero. All right. So you're gonna have the negative three point what? Zero one nine one. What are we solving? I'm sorry, you. You solving for number three, right? That would be what? Zero one nine one five. Good. Let's see how you're gonna utilize the calculator. Then I close you. Good. Uh huh. In case you don't want to use the logbook, there's a strategy on the calculator I want to expose you to. I did. But before you start, what you're going to do is that first of all, locate the characteristics first. The one, the negative four, the three, the negative three. You have to set for it yourself. So you have to convert them to standard form. What I'm going to help you to do is just look for the answers. I did. Pick your calculator and let's start. So having set for your characteristics, the answers are this is what you're going to do. Just punch log on your calculator. Log. L O G. I did. This is what you're going to do. Pretend as if you've not seen the decimal point. If you want to look for the, uh, the Mantiza, okay, point to the number uh, normal like that. So that will be log of what? 6, 7, 2, 9. Forget the decimal point. What is the answer? 
It will give you three point something something. Either forget about the three. What you're going to focus on is the numbers after the decimal point. Please approximate to four decimal places so that the examiners will know that you are using the law book accurately. Alright, so the calculator gave me 3.8279. That's uh, that's 795. If I'm approximating, it's going to be 3.82. That's 80. Either way, the most important thing is I tell you point, forget about the three. Copy the matches and right. So 82380. You see they are the same. You write that. Let's look that quickly for this one. So you just punch log. Forget about the decimal point. You point log 0, 0, 0, 0, 8, 7, what? 6. If you are smart, you get to see that. 0, 0, 0, 0, 8, 7, 6, the same as log 8, 7, 6. Good. What the answer? It gives you a value. It will give you 2.9425. Forget about the 2. What you need is the matches that. So just copy and pay. 9, 4, 2, 5. You see they are the same. So you can use the calculator uh, technically and then it will, it will look as if you are using the log book. Alright? Mm -hmm. Students, try that for the rest of them. My time is far spent. Next week, same time, we're going to do that. Alright? We're going to continue with this. Alright then. When I'm done, I'll also show you another way to look for the characteristics without necessarily converting to standard form. You're going to love it. So next week, tell your friends um, to tune in to Up TV as we have a continuation of our lecture. Remember to visit my YouTube page to like and subscribe. It's so important to me. Like, subscribe, share to all your friends in high school so that they have full benefit about that. Before I leave, I would like to acknowledge my sponsors again. I'd like to let you know that this show is brought up with the help of Seekers Media College. The best remedial colleges ever. If you want an A, I for it in all your subjects, just enroll now. We do all the courses here. General Science, General Art, Business, Technical, Visual Arts, Home Economics and Agriculture. Admission is in progress. Lectures are in session. And everybody has to have to what? Enroll. Alright. So, see you same time next week. Best luck to all my students. Bye-bye. Seekers Remedial College is one of the best remedial colleges in Taifa Township within the city of Accra and our highly earned prominence is attributable to the good and quality results our students produce each and every year. Now we have all our graduates in all the famous universities that are circling around Ghana and in abroad. There are three departments in here. One of them is a senior high school division. The programs that are actively running right now are General Science, General Art, Business, Technical, Visual Art, Home Economics, and Agriculture. Admission is in progress, lectures are in session, and in no time, WASI registration and WASI private registration will resume soon. And so, students in the following categories can enroll now. Senior high school graduate that want to sit for WASI again, double tracking student and junior high school graduate. No matter what, your grades are assured and we are also going to arrange 50% scholarship package for you all to study in University of Ghana, University of Cape Coast, University of Development Studies and KNUST. In addition, we also have the basic school department which is the most strongest department in Seekers Remedial College. In here, Classes run through from primary to junior high school. This department consists of BEC school, which is written in June, and BEC private, which is written in February every year. As a result of our trained and skillful teachers, we are able to obtain excellent results every year. Applicants who enroll for this program benefit fully from the current free SHS program. We therefore entreat all JHS leavers and individuals who are determined to attain the basic education certificates to enroll to Seekers Remedial College for quality education. We also have the international packages. The international packages include SAT, TOEFL, IELTS. 
Over the years, Seagrass Remedial College has gone the extra mile to establish the link between us and the international universities. With us, you are assured 100% of getting the grades that you need for the external universities. Some of the scholarship programs include GRE, GMAT, and many others. With students who sit with us for the international packages, we Seekers Remedial College has taken it upon ourselves to go the extra mile for them to get scholarship, which includes accommodation, monthly stipends, and many others. We also have programs that are set aside for university graduates who wish to pursue their masters at abroad. Some of these programs include GRE, GMAT, and many others. So with Seekers, you just have to seek us. Hi everyone, my name is Maji Abiasi and I'm a gold tracker studying science. Before enrolling at Seekers, I was so terrible with my elective, that is physics, chemistry, biology and e-math. But now I can proudly say I'm one of the best students in my school. Contrary to what I've experienced outside, the teachers here are very interactive and easy to approach. Whenever I have a problem, they always have a down-to-earth solution to those problems. We also have regular online lessons which benefits we the students and worthy of disclosing. At Seekers Remedial College, the teacher's explanation is pretty clear to everyone, even the lay person. I enjoy every bit of the lectures I have here. Dr. Isaac is just a genius. I am currently in a basic school and I recommend my school to every child wanting to finish school early. The teaching style here is so different as compared to that of my previous school. Literally, I must say that the teachers really teach from their heart. Lectures are always conversational and refreshingly thrilling. Our notes too are in a slide form with a diagrammatic representation and we are assessed with monthly mocks which keeps we the students active all time. Honestly, I really like the teachers in Seekers Remedial College. Hostel facilities are available at a cost. For more inquiries, call or WhatsApp the numbers displayed on your screen.